sometimes you never know where love is going to come from, right? It's one of those things that's unexplainable, but can be so remarkable once you're able to, to catch it. And just like a web that can be spun into like a fine silk garment, it's exactly the same thing with love. Um, and Rochelle and Chris, you guys have absolutely spun your web into a fine silk garment. Woo! And hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hear about the one about the two spiders that got married? They went, they met on the web. <laughs> when I go to work, like, bummed out, you know, tired. First thing I see, this beautiful lady right here, I'm telling you, that smile. Killer smile, I'm telling you. Like it will light up this, like, you don't even need lights, I'm telling you. I wanna say like my earliest memories of Rochelle, you know, is her leading me everywhere. She used to just carry me around, just pull me. I didn't even wanna go to certain places, <laughs> but she, she just would. And my name's Richard, obviously, and she couldn't pronounce my name at first, so she used to call me Gishard. Gishard. Come here, Gishard. Come here, Gishard. And I would just follow her around. Uh, and that lasted a little, a little bit too long. Like, into my, into my 20s, I was following, following her around. Uh, and then, you know, we grow up and, you know, life takes us in different directions. And, you know, I had my kids. And, you know, Rochelle was still there to lead by example. You know, so a lot of the things that I learned being a parent to these beautiful young children is because of Rochelle and the way that Rochelle led by example in raising her kids. I love my sister with my, all my heart. Even when we argue and we fight and she complains and she complains and she complains and, she complains and we argue some more, I will always go to the ends of the earth and back for her. And the only other person that I see with that same fortitude is you. So I will never, ever, ever worry about my sister again, as long as you're around. Yes, Chris. I got a lot of things about Chris. <laughs> Because Chris is actually one of my mentor ever since I started in FedEx. And dude, did you even check your name? Your name is Christopher Gordon Van Drope. You know who else is Gordon, dude? Flash Gordon. That's what they hired you, bro. They hired you so they can, he can he can get the job done right away, guys. Right away. And to seal the deal, Van. Dude, you got a van in your name, man. Van. Imagine if my name was Christian Truck Inike. Oh my goodness, they would hire me on the spot. On the spot right now. So Chris, uh, me and Noah both remember the first time we met you. We were at a roller skating rink, and we both thought to ourselves, who is this tall, random man hanging out with our aunt? As time went by, we got to know you, and uh, we found you were uh, very sweet and caring and a great fit for our aunt. get married firstly I would never make my bridesmaids get up at 12 in the morning oh. to get their hair and makeup done it should already be up though and also would want a love as strong as yours Chris I love you man I really do I'm not just saying that I love you with all my heart I've seen the way that you look at my sister. I've seen the way you treat my sister. And I could not ask for any better person 
to protect and care and love my sister. This is love. It's slow to lose patience. It looks for a way of being constructive. It's not possessive. It's neither anxious to impress, nor does it cherish inflated ideas of its own importance. Love has good manners and does not pursue selfish advantage. It's not touchy, it doesn't keep accounts of evil or gloat over wickedness or anything like that. On the contrary, it's glad with all good people when truth prevails. Love knows no limit to its endurance, no end to its trust, no fading of its hope, and it can outlast anything. In fact, it's the one thing that still stands when all else falls. Welcome on behalf of Rochelle and Chris to the wedding this afternoon and behalf on behalf of the families and what a beautiful day we have. God's love is pouring out of us. As we begin a new life, it's no longer God's will just for Chris. It's no longer God's will just for Rochelle, right? It's God's will for Chris and Rochelle together. Chris Shell. I, I don't know. That's sorry. <laughs> Love in marriage is the choice to cooperate with God in serving your spouse. As you put the other before yourself, God will honor your love and give you the power and the purpose that he's created in advance for you. And those good things that he has created in advance, he will enable you to do. Shelly, my queen, the love of my life. I enjoy seeing your energy and animation. When you get so involved in a subject, you start to describe it with your hands. Um, not only do I have this amazing, smart, beautiful, sweet, passionate woman in my life, but I, I have a future daughter who I can't picture my world without. She shares your determined spirit, your mind, your heart, your beauty, and your stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, I would say that you're the woman of my dreams, but you're not. You're better than anything I could imagine. I promise you that I will try and spoil you and make you the queen that you are. I love you, Shelly, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Christopher, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to cherish you without hesitation through all of our adventures and life together. My Prince, I offer you my hands to fight with you and never against you. I offer you my feet to walk beside you along this road of life and stand at your side through the smooth and rough parts. I offer you my lips to speak words of prayer, love and encouragement into our life. I offer you my heart to love you forever and always. You're the only one who makes me feel like I can fly. Te amo mucho. I love you so much, and although these vows are sincere and true, there really are not enough words that truly express how strong my love is for you. So Chris, do you take Rochelle to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I do. Absolutely. <laughs> Gabby, an anchor represents a source of support, stability, and security. 
A star symbolizes guidance, hope, freedom, and new beginnings. Together we present you with this anchor bracelet coupled with a star as a promise that this family formed before God today will always remain a safe haven for you. Always, always remember, remember, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. We can't, can't promise, promise to be here, here for the rest, rest of your life, life but we, we can, can promise, promise to be here, here and love you for the rest, rest of ours. Are you? <laughs> I, I, I messed up that. Oh, my bad. Chris and Rochelle, today you've indicated your desire to be united as husband and wife. In the presence of God and your family and friends, you've made vows and exchanged rings, and your commitment of intent is clear. Now, as a minister of Jesus Christ, on behalf of his people and his church, I bless you and pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss.
found the person that fills your life. Shell, you're a spark of energy that keeps Chris smiling. You're an inspiration to everyone here. You've dealt with unimaginable challenges and prospered into a strong, confident, funny person and an absolute pleasure to be around. Like Chris Graham said, I've never seen Chris happier and I couldn't be happier with the beautiful choice he's made. These two make each other happy when they're together. They laugh together, they parent together, they FedEx together, <laughs> they compliment each other together. They're always going to be together. They're made to be together. They're made to be in love together.